So, <laughs> ignore the mess. I'm looking over the vlog that you guys hopefully would have already saw from, you know, the last vlog, but I'm looking it over to make sure that it is good. It's supposed to go live today, so I'm hoping that my editor's team can, you know, fix any errors quickly so I can get it back so you guys can watch it on time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hopefully this will turn into soap. I'm supposed to leave it undisturbed for 24 hours. I don't have 24 hours because then I'll be past the, when it's due. Although <laughs> there's people in the class that asked for extensions from the first, what you call it? The first lab, which was like three or four weeks ago. I'm like, God damn, I ain't even submit the first one yet. Cause the classes, we only got two more weeks of class left. I didn't need the ice. <laughs> I'm just so used to putting it in for a cocktail, but I was like, let me try this on its own. And kitten play, top the charts. Crisp, tart, Issa Rae's Prosecco. Wow, that is very tasty. Mm. Lord knows I could use a drink. <laughs> All right, so I was gonna say we should set some ground rules for this low buy thing, but then I realized like, I'm not low buy, low spend. Low buy, low spend, same shit. Um, but I'm just gonna spend as little money as possible. <laughs> I'm having a Juneteenth get together at the house and typically parties can kind of run me a pretty penny, but I've been doing potluck parties where people bring a dish and then we just kind of all share it. So that definitely helps to keep the cost down. See, this is what being on autopilot does. I did not mean to jerk these. These are supposed to be for the pineapple ginger. Ginger pineapple. All right, so I guess I'm gonna have a jerk stir fry this week as well too. Damn! All right, now here's my, my soap. Wait, let me do this someplace where I'm getting like a weird thing on the screen. All right, here's, why is it still doing that? I don't know why them bars keep showing up and maybe it's not gonna show up in the final footage. I don't know, but this is my soap. <laughs> it actually needs like 12 more hours to sit, but this assignment is due at 11.59. It is now 10.26. Now, you know, I could, based on the fact that people were given until May 30th <laughs> for an assignment that was like due two or three weeks ago that I could probably hand this in late, but I, mm -mm. I need, th this gotta be done. <laughs> Now see, the thing, the problem is with these things, and I try to get ahead of it because the way it's written, you don't, you may not realize that you need some extra stuff until like you get all the way into the paper. And perhaps that is also my bad because what, what are these things on the screen? What is happening here? Anyway, and perhaps it is my bad because I didn't read the full thing, you know, in the beginning of the week, but yo. <laughs> Like, is it too much to ask for you to put all of the materials in the material section? Like, why I gotta get into the procedure before I realized that I needed something else? <sighs> oh, maybe it was the light that was doing it? Y'all, this is the mess I be talking about. So I'm deep into this lab, right? Doing a lather test. When out of nowhere, this thing is like, add two milliliters of 1% CA plus two. What the hell is CA plus two? I ain't got no calcium. What is this shit called again? Cation. 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 Uh, laying around all willy nilly. Mercury in retrograde? <laughs> because, let me ask. Hey Siri, is Mercury in retrograde? 
Mercury is not in retrograde. This is from purewow.com. Cause <laughs> something gotta be flipping upside down and inside out, right? Because all of the weird energy is like coming to me and I don't want yo so I thought the situation with the mini twins was hilarious right yo when I tell you I'm <laughs> Never in life could I let you leave your house like that. Oh my God, I was shocked. I still do think that this is hilarious. Person called Melissa a hater and said that I wasted my money. I'm like, wait, number one, Melissa's not a hater. <laughs> number two, it's my money to waste. So I was just like, yo, come on, stop it, y'all. Nobody's, nobody's hated. I already had a feeling by day two where I was kind of like, I'm not feeling this. But maybe it's just my in my head. Let me ask Melissa because Melissa is that very honest friend that'll be like, oh yeah, that looks amazing. You need to wear that. Or girl, that ain't it. And like, I think there's a total difference between like everything is subjective to the relationship you have with the person. Melissa can say stuff to me and that shit will roll off my back and I'll be laughing. I think I remember telling y'all something about how like we talk hard to each other sometimes and it's not like malice behind it like we don't always talk hard it's not like we pick up the phone like what the fuck you want bitch kiss my ass bitch and, like and, and like that's the relationship no but the same things that she said if it was said by a stranger on the internet i would be like <laughs> because we don't have that relationship for you to be talking to me like that right so anyway i just find it hilarious one person was like so you took it out to put a wig on to wear a wig in the heat. And I'm like, when did I wear a wig? I'm like, I tried the wig on for like two seconds and I was like, nah, it, um, I'm over this look. But even if I did, like, why? I, 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 I don't know. We, we have a, the, come on people. The obsession with hair, I get it to a point, but I also don't get it. But I also don't wanna to get too much into it because I see that it riles up certain pockets of the population and I ain't trying to have all of that on my page because we real lighthearted over here. You know, we get, a little, we get a little emotional when it comes to aging parents and stuff like that. But for the most part, this is a very lighthearted channel. Oh, let me tell y'all something else. Oh, I thought I was about to be on time for the gym and no, I'm not. <laughs> So who else gonna be on top of the gym for the ones? So if you remember OG people, right? Or if you just have a good memory. I had a situation with one of the parking attendants in my building when I first moved into the building. Me and him had beef, right? Because I am very like, oh my God, yes, please, and thank you. And oh my God, like, hi, hi, how you doing? Good morning. Can I ask for blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm like that with everybody because you never know, you know, whatever. But for some reason, he was not feeling me. So um, when you drive into the parking garage, you're supposed to pull all the way into the side. But when I had first got there, many, many times, this guy would stop me before I even got to all the way at the end. So I was like, okay, maybe that's what he wants me to do. So one day I, I left the car where he usually stops me. And because I was, you know, rushing to get a, a, a furniture delivery because the, the furniture delivery people were like in front of the building waiting to deliver my shit. And he was mad, he was pissed. And then, <laughs> and then I was at the point where I'm like, I'm not taking this shit. So I got pissed too. And he was like, I'm gonna put your car on the street. And I was like, you do that, that's gonna be your ass, right? I don't talk like that, but he, he took me there, right? So the super of the building, and then when I get really upset, I start crying. <laughs> Cause it's like, when I get really upset, I want to do things that I know I cannot do. And instead it, it comes off as me crying because I need to let that energy go somewhere. And it's better for me to cry than to do the things that I want to do in my head. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> What the hell? Come on! <laughs> Aside from, you know, road rage. People driving stupid on the road is a very big pet peeve. Anyway, so, so the super of my building saw me crying. He was like, What's hap what happened? And then so I told him, and then I also called the garage guy. I was like, Look, I'm, I'm going, I'm taking my, like, I, you know, reported the guy. I'm like, I'm taking my car to another garage. This is that and the third. 
after I calmed down for a while and I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? Let me just keep the damn car in this garage because it's attached to my building. If it snows, rains, if I got a whole bunch of shit in the car that I need to bring upstairs, I'm already in the building, right? It's perfect. Instead of me having to like walk across the street and blah, 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 blah. So then after that, I was like, all right, I'll keep the car in the damn garage, but I'm not trying to have beef with this old man for the rest of my time living in this building. So after a while, I would kind of just be like, good morning and what and whatever. So then we started being mad cool, right? So just now for the like, the la he was gone for like three, four months. But after like the second or third week of him being gone, cause I know he lives in, he, he's from Greek. He's from Greek. He's from Greece. And I know sometimes he'll like for vacation, he'll go, he'll be gone for like a month. But after the time was just like, it was just like too much time had been going by. Too much time had been going by. I was like, uh-uh, we at? Yeah. So, so I texted the parking garage manager was like, nah, where my boy at? And he was like, oh, he's handling some business, da 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 da, -da. whatever. This morning I go to um, get in the car in the garage, I'm like, Damn, this is seven minutes. I be talking, yo. Anyway, I get, <laughs> I go to get in the car and I'm like, wait a minute. I know that ain't who I think it is. I know that ain't who I think it is. And it's him. I run up, I tap on the window, and I'm like, oh my God, it's you. You're back. And like, we hugged. Like, it's crazy. Me and this man had beef. <laughs> yeah, I get but um, he was also telling me that somebody in his family is really sick, so. Let us all say a prayer for this person and his family, because gosh, that's gotta be hard. And I wanna say a prayer for everybody watching this, because you know, I don't know what y'all going through, and I wish the best for you, and I want you to, you know, feel good. Not every day is a feel good day. Like I came on here to complain <laughs> about some, some other mess, which I don't know, maybe I'll divulge later, but like, I don't know, because maybe I'll be over it. Maybe maybe I'll talk about it on camera and then not come into the vlog. You know, let me tell you something. That helps. If you have something that you want to vent, sometimes, and I've done, I've done this before too, where I'll like vent about something in a vlog, but then I'll edit it out before it goes live, because I'm like, all right, I'm over it now. I don't need to, you know, have that out in the public like that. Um, that, that helps a lot. So if you want to vent about something and either you feel like you have nobody else that you can vent to or you feel like you, you've reached your vent cap <laughs> with your peoples. I mean, obviously the best thing to do is to um, seek, seek a therapist, but you know, when you're in a little bind, it does help to tur turn that camera on, vent, get it all out, maybe rewatch it again later. So you, when you're in a better place, you could be like, all right, here's what I could do differently next time I'm in that situation, you know? So, anyway, I'm about to walk up in this gym. I'm not that late. <laughs> I need to recalibrate myself because I have been getting to the gym late, late, late boots, like regularly for a, a while now. And I know Yasmin probably sick of me, but <sighs> what, what can I do? Side note, I picked this up. My sister was telling me about this thing. It's one of those things that you can like break the glass with and then cut your seatbelt in the car. It came with two and I don't really need two of them. So I'm gonna give one to Yasmin, but if I remember, I'll put the link, but I'm not guaranteeing that it's like a great thing. I just happened to like see a video that my sister sent me about like survival tools or whatever. And so I picked it up. So I'm not guaranteeing like it's the best thing since sliced bread, but you know, maybe it'll catapult you to, you know, doing research and finding an amazing one if that's the case, but anyway. Just got out of an Uber. I had to drop my car off by the dealership. And now I need peppers to make my uh, ginger pineapple stir fry. Yo, taking that car to the dealership is probably gonna exhaust all my low spin options. But there's really no rhyme or reason to this. It's just that wherever I can, I'm gonna try to figure out ways that I could just spend less. Like I ain't trying to be eating out, ordering takeout and whatnot. I'm just gonna cook my stuff. 
I'm not spending a whole bunch of money on drinks and whatnot. Make my own drink. That's all. All right. So hopefully stuff won't be too crazy. And also hopefully my whatever coverage thing that I have on my car will cover any repairs because then it's just $500 deductible as opposed to, you know, all of the shit. So my AC is acting funny. Uh, my tire pressure light been on, which is crazy because that's the thing I took it in for the last time. Ooh, I need to put this phone on mute because... <laughs> I just send invitations out for my Juneteenth party and uh, you know, the text messages are coming in. I'm feeling overstimulated, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, I hope, hopefully this will not be some um, big crazy ordeal. And also hopefully whatever construction they're doing, they hurry up and fix it. Like, why y'all didn't do this construction right the first time? Cause I find y'all y'all doing construction a little too much. Like just do the job the right way the first time. So I ain't gotta be having you know, concurrent construction noise all up in my, all up in my head. I forgot the ginger, um, not the ginger, the garlic again. Man, oh, it's in the grocery store. Anyway, this is delicious. I have to say that I feel like the first batch was more delicious than this one, but still good. Oh wait, no, I take that back. <laughs> this is good too. You know, sometimes you gotta get like a little piece of everything. You need like the pepper, the pineapple, the chicken, you know. <laughs> for all of the flavors to just, mm, 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 mm. I swear, let me tell you something, look at Greedy. <laughs> you get you a good recipe, you can make whatever. And then once you like get the basics from the recipe, then you can kind of, you know, experiment, you know, add a little of this, take away a little of that, um, transfer that recipe to something else. Like, cause let me tell you something, it's a cold world out there, right? And I have noticed since inflation has been going up that this food, been t the food quality when you go out to eat has been going down with some exceptions. There are some restaurants that I'm like, yeah, take all my money, get it, honey. But for the most part, some of these places need to be in jail <laughs> for the amount of money that they are charging for basic food. Mm -mm. That's why I will stay trying to make me <laughs> something at home because I ain't got time to play with these people and they nasty food. Yo, a good way to get you some veggies without it spoiling up in the fridge, get you some frozen vegetables. Now, people will be turning their nose up like, <laughs> frozen vegetables, but <laughs> frozen vegetables are fresh veg, well, they were fresh vegetables that were frozen right at their optimum freshness and deliciousness and they just as good. So I feel like I've read somewhere where it might even be a little bit better. I don't know, don't quote me on that. But especially if you like, you trying to save you some money or whatever and you are trying to get your veggies in because the veggies are important, you know what I'm saying? Get you a bag of mixed vegetables. Um, And especially seeing as how I only think I paid about, what I pay for that, like $2? Couldn't be no more than $4 for that. I, that's the Good and Gather, Good and Gather, <laughs> Good and Gather brand at Target. Let me see. Mixed. And it's very time saving too, because $2.39 for, uh, how many ounces was that? 28 ounce bag, and then the smaller bag, 12 ounces is 99 cents. Like, come on. It's it's time saving and money saving, and you get your, you know, you get your, what you call it in, you know, your, your veggies. So, real chicken breast, some plantain, and then we got the mixed veggies on there. I'm gonna put a little barbecue sauce. This was marinated with the jerk, and then I had some of the jerk seasoning. I probably could have put some more jerk. <laughs> but, I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce, regular barbecue sauce. Give it a little kick, just a little bit, because child, when I tell you, sometimes it be the sauces that be killing the whole, the whole shit, because 
<laughs> so sources be having so much sugar and stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I'm talking like that. Hand up, brought up. See, uh, don't get mad at me. Me, as it is, go down and brought up. See, yo, them goats were intense. I don't know if y'all can see, but they were jumping me trying to get to the cheeses. Ain't no more cheeses, so I'm just sitting here watching everybody else. You again, <laughs> yeah, not no brought up. See, man. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Listen, man. So you gotta. I'm gonna take you to Jamaican flavors. Oh no! <laughs> hey, you're rude. <laughs> Pick up bag. Is in there? Okay. You can. Oh, I'm definitely gonna enjoy this because I like to have a lotion in each pocket, in each purse. Hey. And I bag. Let's pick out some things. I need to put this bottle of water down, this box of water down. All right, so this looks like it might be lavender because it is lavender in color. Lavender blossom and crisp pear, stargazer lily. Oh, this one looks like it might smell really good. Water flowers and sea salt, milk and honey, lavender vanilla. Well, it looks like I'm taking one of each. Sea treasures, unscented, Oh, see you there. Verbena and cream. Hopefully I said that right. Guys, this is Kayla. Hey. Kayla is an amazing, well, she's a fragrance nose. She, am I allowed to say, well, this is coming out in... June 25th. Okay, because this, this vlog comes out, what you call it? I'm making sure I'm not uh, stepping on your embargo. No, it's not embargo. Okay, yes. okay. So. Brown sugar, babe, Kayla Greaves, it girl fragrance. Enjoy. Smell Enjoy. Like an this Smell like an it girl beyond. this summer. And Brown Sugar Babe, I just bought a bunch. That's that viral brand that's on TikTok. They have mm -hmm. amazing customer service because I bought a bunch of scented oils, perfume oils, yes. body oils from them. Great customer service. We love it. And she has a signature scent coming out. Custom scent. June 25th. June 25th. That's Stay the day I leave for Cabo. Hey. So I'm going to be in. Yes. In well, actually, no, when I come back from Cabo, I'll be able to get, are you going to Essence Fest? Yeah. I like the boom. I love that for like a morning scent. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. it right there. Wait, the fuck up. Right. right. It's my custom fragranced body lotion. It's blood orange. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it fancy mixed with anything. You know, I'm not a fancy nose like Kayla here. <laughs> <laughs> but all the, all the while, still a very great scent. And look at this bougie one here with her glass. Hello. <laughs> She's out. Hello, hello. <laughs> I was trying to find a place I could prop this camera up. I didn't bring a tripod so we could do our makeup together, but it did not have any. <laughs> no, this ain't gonna work. All right, quick outfit look. Hopefully you can even see it. <laughs> Jacket from Chamberkit, top is from Revolve, pants from Zara, and any shoes at JCPenney. All right, so, where's the light? Okay, there we go, there we go, there goes some light. I don't even know if y'all can hear me because the, what you call it is so loud. Anyway. This has been a fun trip. Quick little like retreat, getaway, whatever they were calling it with Deanna's. Um, they got some, I showed y'all already, I showed y'all already. It's Instagram, I didn't show the products to yet, but I cannot wait to slather those lotions. I have been into scented lotions and body washes and stuff like a lot lately. Like when I get back home, I have an order from Bath and Body Works that I need to pick up for some cotton candy body wash. <laughs> so I'm obsessed. I just want, I just want to be like <sighs> smelling the things. <laughs> this lighting is not giving. Let me see if I can turn the light on. Eh, give us a little something. All right, so heading out. I, Yasmin actually bought me this. 
and it has a matching pants. These aren't the matching pants, but I never wore it. I think she bought it for me before I got my brush reduction. And I was like, why you bought me this little ass tub? But um, my first time wearing it, these pants I get from Amazon. I freaking love them because they're like, you know, long without me needing them to be, you know, without me having to tell them I need long pants. You know what I'm saying? And get little pockets on the side. This jacket I got from the Frankie shop. I probably won't need it to like walk around because it is pretty hot, but um, like on the bus and whatnot, it's a little chilly. And in the hotel, it's a little chilly with the air conditioning. So we are headed off, if you can even see me. <laughs> We are about to do some goat yoga. We're gonna come on with the goats. All right, this low spend cannot include business expenses. <laughs> we could. I bought a bunch of products. Well, some of the stuff I've had, uh, but a lot of it I actually did buy. I was watching this woman on YouTube. Oh, what is the name of her channel? I can't think of the name of the channel, but she had a really exciting video on Dollar Tree beauty dupes. I think her channel is mostly focused on like, you know, inexpensive dupes and stuff like that. Somehow it just came up in my um, uh, suggested, but I was like, let me find out Dollar Tree is like coming through with the dupes because you wouldn't catch me dead putting no Dollar Tree stuff on my face before because that stuff looked like it had. <laughs> Lead in it. <laughs> but if you look at some of these brands, these aren't these aren't even all of them. But if you look at some of these brands, like Dollar Tree is trying real hard. You see this, right? They is trying real hard to be. I mean, this one they didn't try hard enough. <laughs> but it got like the little, you know, doo -doo 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 on it. This one is EOS and this, they definitely, they tried it. The Neutrogena, they tried it. Now apparently this is a dupe for this scent. I will be the judge of that. This is like sold out at Dollar Tree. Yo, my friend. Lakeisha came through. That's my homie since we was in kindergarten. She came through. I forgot how, something told me, let me ask, oh, because she, um, I'm having a, well, you know I'm having a Juneteenth party. She was telling me that a particular Dollar Tree, cause she doesn't live too far from me, that a particular Dwella Tree had Juneteenth decorations. Oh, let me show you my Juneteenth decorations. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even anything like crazy because they only literally only had like half a half a end wrap with the Juneteenth stuff, but it's still cute. So I got some napkins. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these notebooks, but I think I might put them together as like, you know, with some beauty products and stuff as some prizes. Then I also got these Juneteenth plates and that's it. And I just got a bunch of plates, um, napkins and like little um, notebooks. Anyway, Lakeisha had told me that, you know, they had some Juneteenth stuff in that Dollar Tree. And I was like, yo, Lakeisha be knowing. I was like, yo, have you tried any of the Dollar Tree dupes? And then she told me she had the dupe to the Sol de Janeiro. She bought like four of them. But anyway, so I'm filming that. Today is just like a let me film day, which I'm so glad. I can't, I'm, I'm happy for this because I haven't had days like this in a while because like normally Tuesdays and, thir Tuesdays and or Thursdays, I would go to Pilates and sometimes both Tuesday and Thursday, I would go to Pilates. So, you know, I just, I went to bed at like 4 a.m. because when I got back after the trip, that trip was amazing. Amazing, so relaxing, so fun. The food was amazing. Like, I like me a little quick retreat. You know what I'm saying? Even the drive there and, well, I don't know what the drive coming back was like, cause I was, yo, I was knocked out so much that Kayla had to move my head back up. She was like, I didn't want you to wake up with a stiff neck. I was like, bless you, baby. Uh, but the drive going up, I didn't fall asleep. And it was just like so peaceful. Like there was so many, like the there was no traffic. You see all this beautiful greenery. It was just like smooth sailing. Like I love this for me. So today, 
Um, I got up around like 10 something and I was like, all right, good. I'm gonna film all day. Like I'll take breaks for like lunch and whatnot, but I'm gonna film all day because like I'm excited. Not to say that I'm never excited about filming, but I'm like extra excited about filming. Cause it's summertime, you know, summertime my, my attitude just be different. Like I like what's, what I could need to have an attitude for? It's summertime. Well, it's not technically summer, it's still spring, but you know what I'm saying? It's nice out. Why I need to have an attitude when it's nice out? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Although I am going to take a break probably from posting as much during the summer because you know I'm trying to be outside. I think I will though take some time to like bulk film some things that are like evergreen. So that way when things pick back up in September, I'll be ahead of the curve. So I could like, I could send videos to the editor um, and have those ready ahead of time, have those scheduled. I, I, business expenses should not be included in my low spend, but I really need to keep my behind out of the delivery, the pickup. Yesterday I had Chinese food and McDonald's and both were like very, very extremely mid. So it was like such a waste of money and a waste of calories. So it'd be a minute before I do that again. And what else is something uh Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna stay out of ordering outside food and I'm gonna try to avoid any unnecessary expenses, which is wild because I just got off the phone with the dealership and they said that they have somebody inspecting because I have um, a warranty that I paid for in my car. And hopefully, well, the, war the warranty should cover the air conditioning repairs that I need because if it doesn't, it's like $2,400. But if it does cover it, I only have to pay the $500 deductible. And obviously 500 is better than 2,400. <laughs> but if, if if they don't cover it, I'm gonna have to give them my $2,400 because I'm not I'm not dealing with uh, air conditioning on the fritz <laughs> for the summer. Like, hell no. Nah. What else? I need to make an appointment to uh, get my hair braided. I have decided to get medium. I might do large, that, but not too large because I don't want, you know, when the parts are larger, there's less of your hair that's being weighed down by the braids. So I'm probably gonna do like medium knotless braids with curlies, but I might do like a lot of curlies. There's this picture, let me show you this picture oh, of Cammie Crawford. <laughs> this damn cat is underneath. Look at his ass. He's a toddler. Look at this. Will you look at this? <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> oh, I need to do laundry too. Oh, all this stuff to, to film. All right. Let me show you this picture of Cami Crawford. Her booty all out in this picture. So hopefully YouTube don't um, give me a, I'll just have my editor blur it out. Cause YouTube be, you know, acting funny. The booty looks good, but you know, YouTube be acting funny. Um, Like if you could see her braids there, like I like how it's like somewhat braided, but then there's like a lot of, oh wait, but that's braided with the, what did they do there? All right, maybe I might not do that because I'm pretty sure that she used human hair all throughout. And I'll, I'll ask the braiding lady because I think what I'll do is um, just get the regular synthetic braids. And then I bought human hair from, I think the company's Y Wigs, the human hair curlies, so that um, that's the hairstyle I'm gonna do for Cabo and Essence. <sighs> all right, let me stop chilling and I gotta go put some makeup on my face. Oh, wait, no, not makeup. Let me do the skincare stuff. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. I be talking a mile a minute sometimes and I realize that like I start new thoughts before I finish the old one. But I can't remember if I made it clear that Lakeisha came and gave me hers um, Brazilian Mist Spray, which is supposed to be a dupe for this number 62. I don't know if it is yet, cause I haven't smelt it. But in case you were wondering the notes, pistachio and salted caramel. Whew, I filmed. Three skincare videos and a fashion video. The skincare video was actually like filming five videos because I had to do like B-roll and demos and whatnot. So right now I am attempting, well not attempting, I'm definitely for sure about to go downstairs and do laundry. It is 10, 15 p.m. Um, let me put it here. So one, I have 
a trademark that was approved, so yay! It's for Skinsistency, which I am um, starting out with some diaries, skincare diaries that will be coming out soon. I'm doing a photo shoot for it next week. Then the dealership called and my car was approved for the, uh, what you call it thing? The, the warranty, the, the fixings, the fixings, the repairs were, were approved for the warranty. So I only got to pay like 500, 500 for the AC and whatnot to be fixed. And he's saying, hopefully Monday, Tuesday, my car be ready. Now I'm gonna hold him to that cause I'm dying <laughs> without my car. Well, you know, not, it's not that dramatic, but I would like my car back. And right now I'm about to make some lemonade. I don't know if I put that on the vlog, from when we were at the Dionis event and they made this lemonade, but it was so good. I was like, oh my God, I have to try to make me a lemonade. Homemade lemonade with mint. Hopefully mine tastes as good as this. So my friend Kalina just told me to boil the water with um, the sugar. So it could be like a simple sugar kind of thing. So I'm gonna do it. Listen, I wanna make all of the juices and whatnot this summer. All of the drinks, all of that. I am ready. I don't know if I put enough sugar, or if I put too much sugar. We gonna find out together. Fills to the water. So, I'll try that. All right, since I ain't gonna boil it all crazy, I'm gonna just let that sit in there a little bit and obviously I need the water to cool down. My lemonade came out good. You know what I added to it? I added some honey and uh, lavender syrup. There was something I used to make with lavender syrup. Oh God, I don't remember what it was, but get you some lavender syrup. Um, You never know what, you know, you could make some, some good stuff out of it. Wait, did this expire? Oh, in 2026. Get you some lavender syrup, cause it goes with so many nice things. Oh, you know what I made? It was some drink, I went to a restaurant and it was a drink um, at this restaurant in New Orleans at Essence Fest last year. And I was like, oh, what is in this? I think it was like um, pineapple juice, orange juice. What was the other juice? Oh, pineapple, orange juice, and something else with lavender syrup. And I think there was coconut Malibu and maybe I put bamboo as well. Oh, it was so refreshing and delicious. But that lavender syrup is also delicious in this lemonade with some honey. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> up <laughs> so this came I want to say I got this Wednesday or Thursday um, but my video on my skincare channel had already been up uh, since Sunday so I would rather buy the product and get the review up fast than to you know wait for the product to come in PR because I wasn't sure if it was gonna come in PR or not you know what I'm saying oh it came with a bunch of really cute things. So a travel size starter set, which has um, their melt off, I can't see, melting cleanser, fat water, hydrovisor, is that the mineral SPF? Yeah, the mineral hydrovisor, and then butter drop. I can't see what that says. <laughs> Yo, the way my eyes have not seen the glory. <laughs> Oh Lord. Yeah, I can't see what that says. It says butter drop something. Have I, I feel like I've used the butter drop. I feel like, is that what the body butter is called? If so, I do have the body butter and I really like it. The cinnamon vanilla one. And it came with the hydrovisor in shade, the tinted mineral sunscreen. Oh, they gave me shade seven and eight. Oh, look at them with the container thing. And then what else did this in here? Oh, good, another one of these, cause, I believe Cat Williams knocked mine off of the table. It still works. It's not broken or anything like that. I can't take this out. <laughs> but this Invisimat, I need to go to bed. This Invisimat Instant Setting Blotting Powder, a lip oil, a cream blush, 
Their cream blushes are pretty, but I don't like that they don't last. So I like the Danessa Myricks ones much, much better. And oh, a new mascara, the Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. I don't know how I'm gonna bite into this burger. <laughs> All right, y'all. Ooh, it's juicy. <laughs> I didn't even get to bite into much. But so far, so good. I didn't even get to the pineapple part yet. This is my mom's cooking all the time. And so I'm just thankful that we have this little vanilla shirt. Wave. The pineapple, the mayo, sriracha. Mine is a little different. Our has chicken. I got bacon and beef. This is good. <laughs> Let me try this curry ketchup. Wow. Look at that, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So that's basically the Honestly, I feel like I'm undefeated when it comes to cooking. <laughs> and like, I could be lying on my D because y'all ain't gonna be able to taste it to verify. <laughs> nah, but all jokes aside, I have been watching um, Here Comes Bar channel, B-A-R-R. -R. I've been watching his channel for a while. It's funny because it's a lot of it is geared towards people coming to visit New York from like out of the country or, you know, out of the state. But I be watching it too because I be like, ooh, what y'all got? What y'all doing? <laughs> but he does like these series on like places to eat around the city. And so I was watching his series on like the best burgers and I was just like, but I was like, one, I have don't have my car, so I can't, it's not like I can go drive to one of the places that he mentioned. And then two, any place that's gonna deliver to my neighborhood, like, I'm like, I, I ain't, mm -mm. <laughs> Yeah, oops, y'all not catching me, right? Oh, excuse me, sorry, y'all. <laughs> but, so I was like, you know what? Let me just get up and go to the grocery store. And man, I found a recipe. I'll, um, please remind me to put it in the description box. If you, if you don't see it in the description box, just leave me a comment saying, girl, put the link to the burger in the description box. It's a Hawaiian burger recipe. I did a few little tweaks to it. Like I added bacon, the kind of cheese that the, the person who, whose blog I found it on suggested to use was Harvati. Is that how you say it? Hold on. Havarti. Havarti. I think that's how I said it. I don't know. But anyway, he, he recommends a Harvati treat. The uh, treat. Cheese. But it, the in case I don't put it on in the description and I don't see your comment telling me to put it in the description right away, the guy's uh, thing is carlsbadcravings.com. And then, you know, event, uh, you know, you just go down to the Carl's Bad Cravings and then you go down to the search and put Hawaiian burgers and it should pop up. This is like, these food bloggers be taking some bomb photos. See like here, guacamole, not guacamole. I've, well, yeah, damn near guava, uh, guacamole near. I don't like guacamole. I don't like uh, avocado, but these, uh, what you call it, food bloggers be taking some beautiful ass food pictures, yo. Sheesh. 
I'm, I'm looking like, should I? I should look for some more recipes on his channel. He even got the, he even got the diagram showing you all of the, the deliciousness. Now you could use fresh pineapple, but I knew for sure that number one, oh, by the way, I was using the wrong knife to cut up the, the vegetables and stuff. The knife that I would normally use for that was in the dishwasher. And I was just like, let me just cut this up real quick. But number one, I do have a knife that can cut a pineapple, but the way I'm clumsy, nah. And then plus, I was like, I buy that big ass pineapple and I only needed two slices today. And then I might, I don't know, I might have another burger later, who knows. But the canned pineapple works just as well. You just gotta make sure that you dry it. So you take it out and you know, you put it in a paper towel to absorb all of the juices and the moisture and whatnot. And then you can put it on the grill. Well, let me go do my science experiment. All right, so this experiment has to do with dyeing hair and I had to get nine swatches of hair from different sources. So there's the one, there's two, and then there's the three. Now, I am hoping that when they mean nine swatches of hair, they mean like nine strands. All right, so first I need to take the 9% hydrogen peroxide one is gonna have, cover this so we don't mess up my counter. One is gonna have a pH of below seven. The next between seven and nine. And then the last one is gonna be above nine. And you adjust the pH with ammonium hydroxide, which of course they ain't put in the damn thing. But uh, thankfully the professor was proactive this time and I'm giving her so much fever cause I'm over her. But you adjust it with bacon powder, bacon soda, excuse me. But where are I put my bacon soda? So I will be experimenting how much, oh maybe she put it in the fridge. How much uh, bacon soda is <laughs> going to get the pH at that level. So might not even get it the first time around. Wait, right, that's the bacon soda. Yo, I already be putting stuff away so good that not even I can find it. <laughs> But you know what? I gotta think short because R is mad short. I cannot think like my tall self, like where my tall ass will put something away. I must think five two or five foot. Shoot, she might not even be five foot. <laughs> <laughs> gotta think short. So that seemed to be pretty straightforward and was actually pretty interesting too. So I used, now see, I'm wondering if they wanted me to use actual hair developer because it said uh, hydrogen peroxide 9%, only hydrogen peroxide that like, you know, like the liquid was, um, what you see in the stores, like in the drugstore, but those were like 3%. So I'm like, okay, that's not high enough. Then I was seeing like 12%, I'm like, that's too high. But the only 9% hydrogen peroxide that I was seeing that I could get delivered to me, you know, in a decent amount of time was this one, which I will not need again. But um, yeah, it seemed pretty straightforward. It was kind of cool, you know, adjusting the pH. I learned from, well, it seems from my observation, observations of my experiment that the higher the pH is of the hydrogen peroxide solution, the slower but more intense that the hair gets bleached. And it was really, like you already know that um, bleaching your hair can change, can change the texture of the hair, but you know, it was very, very, very evident um, that that was the case uh, with this little experiment. I need to leave it in that purified water uh, to soak overnight. So I'll get up tomorrow morning, look at it, take my last pictures, submit this lab, and going about my business. Well, I'm cracking up at myself for wanting to do a low spin challenge this month. <laughs> this is not the month to do a low spin challenge, like at all. I have already overspent this week on Ubers. Um, let me add up because the ubers were the one thing and then there's clothes that i've been buying for my cabo trip my homegirl's birthday cabo trip but i can't even count that because there's stuff that i've bought that i tried on earlier that i'm returning and then i need to buy more things so that i make sure i have um an outfit so i'm like i don't know why i decided to do this low spin challenge this month 
<laughs> but maybe next week will be better. But what I will add up is the Uber Eats, not Uber Eats, but Uber uh, trips and any outside food I bought because then that will be the extra stuff. So hold on, let me calculate this. All right, so $122.84 in Ubers. Yuck. <laughs> well, one of those is going to be a business expense of... How much was that? Let us go on the Uber app. Because they had given me a code. No, that's not what I want to do. They had given me a code to come home. Well, to go to, uh, how much was that? 6502. Okay. So $65.02 of that. 122.84 minus 65. What was it? 6502. Okay. So I spent $57.82 on Ubers, uh, $65 additional, um, but that's gonna get written off as a business expense. Um, for that press trip that I went on, they gave us a $100 Uber code, but that wasn't enough um, for me to get to and from uh, Soho, which is where we all met up before they took us on the bus to go to uh, Pennsylvania. Now, normally, <laughs> when a brand takes me, wants me to go to an event or something like that, like you gotta pay for all the expenses. But I, I was just like, you know what, whatever. <laughs> I'll take the $65 L. But normally I'm like, you didn't give me enough Uber code. <laughs> because oh. he about to adjust the air conditioning. You hot? Anyway, normally I'd be like, you didn't give me enough Uber code because I don't know what it is. These brands be like assuming that everybody lives in Manhattan and be given like $50 for round trip. Like it costs more than $50 to get there from, you know, shoot. And I find now that more and more of the younger influencers are from the outer boroughs because the last couple of events I've gone to, a lot of the girls have been from um, Queens. So y'all need to, anyway, what they need to do is instead of giving a dollar amount, just let it cover the ride. Like you can limit what, you know, the address. So it's not like, you know, people's <laughs> bowling out of control, going everywhere in the city on your dime, but at least let it cover one trip within the a radius of where your event's gonna be at. But you know, that, they ain't trying to hear me. <laughs> Food was, did I, s wait, <laughs> hold on, 2.44. Minus 1, 8, 30. Okay, so it's been $124.14 on outside food. That's a lot. That is way too much because like, you know, also buying groceries and whatnot, like that shouldn't have happened this week. And then I'm constantly, I'm like, should I add this hair in this total? Because I'm like, I need, to, I needed to buy the hair. The hair's part of the trip. Thing, but I'll, I'll let y'all know anyway. I bought three bundles of um, wefted hair because I'm gonna get my hair braided and I'm gonna do the curlies. And those three bundles cost me $168.30 total. So um, this week we have $415.28, which that number has got to go down next week. Now this isn't also doesn't include like the clothes that I've been buying because like I said, a lot of the stuff that I bought is going back because it didn't, it didn't look good. And then I got other things that I need to buy to, you know, kind of make sure I have these outfits. So, I'm actually going to end the vlog here because I would like to make sure that my editor has this vlog in, what time is it where they are? It is probably, it's 3 a.m. Sunday, their time. It's well, 3.42 a.m. Sunday, their time. It's 5.42 p.m. here now, Saturday. So I wanna send them this vlog so that by the time they, they get up and get started on it so I can get it back in time because Saturday is my Juneteenth shindig at the house and I ain't gonna be having time to be looking at videos, making thumbnails and all that other stuff. So that gotta be done early. So anyway, y'all, it has been real. I hope you enjoyed the ride this week. And Cat Williams says, uh, farewell to y'all know how he do peace y'all